Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the profit center accounting in SAP FICO. So in our last video we have discussed about the cost center configurations. Uh, so, so profit center is also similar to that of the cost center in terms of configuration. But it was considered as a separate uh, organization unit. So it, it is usually created based uh, based on the product uh, and also based on regions of the markets, uh, or it can be created based on the uh, particular customer also. Uh, so whatever the basis may be, uh, the main focus of the profit center is to analyze the profit of an organization and to make reports based on the uh, information it, ga it gathers from other modules also. So this entity uh, is, uh, is linked to other modules um, by means of various uh, factors. For example, uh, the profit center is linked uh, to material management uh, in, a, in a material master. Uh, it is also linked to uh, internal order. So it is also linked to sales order um, product okay pro production order and and also to the cost center uh, we will see how to link the profit center and cost center uh, in in the last part of this video so the profit center also uh, follows the same configurations uh, when compared to cost center so it, it also has the standard hierarchy uh, profit center group uh, profit center and also we have a dummy profit center uh, we will discuss all these things in our configuration so we will enter into the configuration so here um, so we enter into my first t code so enter into the controlling module So here I am entering into the profit center accounting. So clicking on basic settings. So first step is set controlling area. So I am entering my controlling area. So my first step is to create a standard hierarchy for profit center. So to do that, I am entering into the controlling area settings. So here uh, click on uh, maintain controlling area settings. So here we can specify the standard hierarchy. I am maintaining the same uh, hierarchy. So here we can uh, specify some important parameters like profit center local currency type. So here I am specifying the uh, controlling, uh, controlling area currency itself. Click on confirm. So I am specifying the profit center local currency also as INR. Uh, the second thing is uh, valuation view. So I'm selecting the legal valuation. So the next step is so the next is ALE distribution methods. ALE is the application linking enabling. So it is used to used if this proper center is used for cross company code transactions. Uh, so I'm not using those uh, those things here. So I'm defaultly clicking on no distribution to other systems and saving the entry. So this is the way I can create my standard hierarchy. So the data is saved. The second step is set control parameter for uh, actual data. So here I click on new trees, specify the year, controlling area is incomplete. So we could not give an entry here, but uh, I'm quitting right now, but we will, we have to give it uh, in later period. 
so the next step is plan version so similarly here also there is a plan version 0 so so I can use the uh, version 0 so selecting the version uh, double click on settings for each physical layer so I am activating the controlling area with this version so similarly it also activating for next five fiscal years I am also selecting on integrated planning click on ok so I am selecting the yes it will have a background processing ok output device LP01 so just click on back so for integrated planning I could activate only for this financial year not for proceeding years so I am just taking here click on save ok my version has been defined so let's see the next step click on back So my, my next step is enter into the mass data. So click on profit center. Define standard hierarchy. So it shows standard hierarchy for controlling area have already been created. Okay. Let's create the uh, dummy profit center. So the dummy profit center is one. Uh, which holds the transactions which do not have a specific uh, profit centers assigned so every transactions which do not find any uh, profit center uh, with the configuration so those transactions will uh, will 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 be uh, controlled using the dummy profit center so let's name the prop dummy profit center as brp1 click on basic data so this is my uh, dummy profit center so here when I click on here it automatically uh, picks the standard hierarchy so I have no segment uh, configured click on company codes so you can see that the company code is linked with this profit center so click on save so the dummy profit center is created so before creating a profit center we will, we will define a profit center group here executing it uh, let it be the same name PRP so I'm clicking on yes. So we can see that uh, this is a standard hierarchy under it. Uh, our uh, dummy profit center has been assigned it here. Okay. Now let we create the uh, profit center. So the profit center T code is okay. It shows the profit center. Okay, I'm just rename it as a BRP. Okay, KE51 is the decode for creating profit center. Click on enter. So, okay, this is my first profit center. So, click on profit center group. Okay. Check for the indicators, company code. Okay, I'm saving the uh, profit center. So it specifies the profit center is saved in inactive status. So I have to activate the profit center. So click on this icon. Click on this, this is the activate uh, symbol. Click on it. So I have activated the profit center. 
So I have created a private center. Now I can see it in standard hierarchy. So this is my standard hierarchy, a private center standard hierarchy, and uh, my uh, this is my uh, dummy private center, and this is the actual private center. So both both of these are linked to standard hierarchy. Okay, now. So in my previous video, we have configured the cost centers. So now I have to link the uh, profit center into my uh, cost centers. So the T code is KS02 to change the uh, cost center. So three cost centers we have created. So here, uh, enter the created cost center, uh, profit center. Click on enter. Yes. So saving the entry. So before saving the entry, kindly view this control tab. Uh, there will be some lock indicators available. Uh, we have to uncheck these uh, parameters so that we can maintain the actual revenues and. Uh, plan revenues for this cost center similarly uh, I'm changing for uh, my other cost centers too so enter my profit center the control tab and check the these parameters and save it So I am stopping here and we will see the cost element accounting configurations in our next class. So thank you.